some people say Nvidia stock will go to the moon and some people say it is an AI bubble. But today you will learn the real value of the company and whether I would invest in it or not. I will also discuss what might be a better company and entry signals you should pay attention to. Make sure you watch till the end because I will also reveal my personal portfolio where I invest my real money. Now I will show my screen. We will begin with Simply Wall Street stock research website. I want to show you both sides of the coin because they believe the company is overvalued but I believe the company is undervalued and I will show you why. First of all, they say earnings are forecast to grow by 22% per year and analysts believe that the stock price will rise by about 25% per year. And you can see here that they believe the stock price is overvalued by 25%, uh, meaning the current price is $119, but the fair value of the company is $95. Now let's have a look at Seeking Alpha website. Seeking Alpha analysts say it is a hold. Wall Street says it is a strong buy and Quant rating says it is a hold. All the grades on Seeking Alpha are excellent apart from valuation which is F. One of the most recent news that everybody should pay attention to is that Nvidia CEO says $1 trillion opportunity in accelerated computing due to advent of Gen AI. And in particular, he said, the demand is so great and everybody wants to be first, everybody wants to be the most. That just gives you a small hint that Nvidia is unlikely to stop growing in the next couple of years. And we just cannot imagine what opportunities are ahead of this company. You just have to consider the recent announcement from OpenAI about the new model, O1. It is six times as more expensive than the previous model, ChatGPT 4. Now, if you think about it, at the moment it only works with text. Imagine how much more expensive it is going to be when it will start processing video or more complex tasks. Another point you have to consider is that the new model is 30 times slower than ChatGPT 4 and people hate slow services. Therefore, OpenAI will require even faster chips and they will be obviously even more expensive than at the moment. Therefore, I'm extremely bullish on Nvidia. Now, if you remember, we spoke about a $1 trillion opportunity derived from Gen AI. This is a screenshot from a recent investor presentation by NVIDIA. And they say physical AI is the next wave driving the digitalization of $50 trillion of heavy industries. So this opportunity is multiple times bigger than what we experience at the moment. Therefore ask yourself, is NVIDIA undervalued or overvalued? Is it likely to stop growing or not? And it just gives me another reason why I should be bullish on Nvidia. Now I would like to get your opinion. Is Nvidia stock undervalued or would you buy something else? Let me know in the comments below. I also want to quickly show you quant rating from Seeking Alpha. And at the moment it says hold. But if you scroll down, you will see that pretty much over the last 12 months, it was on hold all the time. So I don't know about you, but I wouldn't pay too much attention to it at the moment. What is more interesting is the valuation. And as you can see, there is red pretty much everywhere because it is based on trailing 12 months. But I would pay particular attention to PEG, which is forward price to earnings growth ratio. And at the moment it is 1.15, which is a lot better than the industry average 1.85. There is pretty much 40% discount. Now growth metrics page gets more interesting because you as an investor should think about the future and Nvidia's future is very bright at the moment. I would pay particular attention to EPS forward long-term growth rate three to five years and it says that 
Nvidia should grow over the next three to five years on average about 36%, which is a lot better than the industry average 15%. We will use this number to work out our fair value of the company. Of course, we have to pay attention to other competitors in the market. Here you can see Nvidia, Broadcom, TSM, MD, Qualcomm, and TXN. And the growth rate of MD is many times higher than what you can see in other companies. Therefore, Nvidia will justifiably attract a high multiple because it is growing faster and it is a lot more profitable. By the way, if you would like to get a special discount from Simply Wall Street, Stock Research, and Seeking Alpha, make sure you follow the link below in the description. Now let's have a look at Stock Unlock, DCF calculator, metric earnings, number of years to project 3, metric growth rate 36, remember that over the last 3 years it was on average 95%, but based on Seeking Alpha we will use 36%. Shares outstanding negative 0.6, dividend growth rate zero, even though it was growing by 35%, but I don't think it will influence a lot. Price ratio 36, and even though over the last three years it was 72, I'm gonna be conservative and use this number. According to this formula, the fair value is $149 meaning there is an upside of nearly 26%. If you enjoy information so far, then hit the like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Now let's have a look at the technical analysis of this company. As you can see, the stock price is $119, which is above this red line, and that is uh, 200 SMA, and above this yellow line, which is 100 SMA and it is sitting near this yellow line, which is a 50 SMA. Therefore, you can conclude it is in a bullish uptrend. Now let's pay attention to this white line, which is a resistance, because it couldn't go higher than $140 in June, then it hit the resistance again in July and in August. Therefore, it could hit this resistance line again sometime in September or October and if it couldn't go higher than $130 then it could be in the downtrend and then you have to be careful. So the better point of entry would be as soon as the price goes higher than $130 then you could potentially consider adding a small portion to your portfolio. Obviously it's not a financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor and you have to do your own research. Let me know in the comments below, would you buy Nvidia at the moment or would you wait for another entry point? Now this stock might be a better opportunity to invest. It is called TSM. They basically manufacture chips and GPUs for Nvidia, Qualcomm, Apple and many other companies. As you can see here, Simply Wall Street says they are trading 24% below its fair value. Earnings are forecast to grow by 19% per year. And they believe the fair value of the stock is $228. So it is undervalued by 24%. Seeking Alpha website is a bit more optimistic on TSM than Nvidia. As you can see, Seeking Alpha analysts say it is a buy. Wall Street says it is a strong buy. And Quant rating believes it is a strong buy as well. I'll quickly show you that TSM enjoyed good August sales and that's just another indicator for you that maybe you should be bullish on this company. Now let's have a look at the valuation of TSM. And it is a bit better than Nvidia and I pay particular attention to PEG which is forward price to earnings growth ratio. At the moment it is 0 0.99 which is 46% better than the industry. Now let's have a look at the growth metrics page for TSM. And let's remember that EPS forward long-term growth rate over the next three to five years for this company is around 26%. The sector median is only 14%. So it is 80% better than the sector. Let's move to stock unlock, DCF calculator. The metric that we will use is earnings. 
number of years to project three, metric growth rate will be 26%, as we saw on SIC and Alpha, shares outstanding zero, dividend growth rate zero, price ratio 25. I will use this number because as I showed you earlier, the company is still growing pretty much every month and some of its biggest customers like Nvidia, AMD, Qualcomm are still experiencing huge demand. Therefore, the fair value of the company is likely $209 and that means there is an upside of about 21%. If you enjoy this information, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Now let's have a look at the technical analysis of TSM. As you can see, the stock price is $172, which is above this red line. That's your 200 SMA and above this yellow line, which is 50 SMA. Recently, it also went above this white line that was a resistance line. Therefore, it gives me enough signals to show that the stock price is likely to keep going higher unless we have some market crash. Therefore, if you want to add a small portion to your portfolio, then you can. Obviously, it's not a financial advice. You have to do your own research. But if you want, you can add a small portion to your portfolio. But if you're not sure whether you should invest in NVIDIA or TSM, why not add both? Instead of investing 5% in your portfolio, maybe you can add 2.5% of TSM and 2.5% of NVIDIA. Here you will see my total personal portfolio. That's about 28,000 New Zealand dollars. If you are overseas, that's about 17,000 US dollars. I opened this portfolio about a month ago and the total return on investment is negative 10%. That's mainly because I had to close my loss making position on Google. But I hope to recover on my other positions during the Christmas rally by the end of this year. On this page, you can see all my other five positions. In this portfolio, I mainly use option contracts because I can get better return on investment, but I realize there is a lot more risk. As you can see, the first position is Amazon, total return $415. The next one is Bitfarms, which is a Bitcoin mining company, negative $375. The next position is CleanSpark, negative $564. Next one is Hims and Hers, positive $152. Royal Caribbean Cruises, positive $580. All these positions are bullish, meaning that I believe the stock price will go up by 20th of December or 17th of January next year. If you enjoyed this information, then hit the like button and subscribe because in the next couple of days, I will upload another video about the company you don't want to miss. If you use my affiliate links, I'll earn a commission at no extra cost to you, which helps support the channel and cover production costs. I personally use their services for stock research. I'm not a licensed financial advisor and this information isn't financial advice. Mm -hmm.